Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Yes, I have already taken off my first layer of clothes. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I am currently a second year PhD student studying history at The Ohio State University. And today we are gonna go through my day. I have a little bit of reading to do for generals. I have a little bit of reading to do for my one seminar class that I'm in. I have class on campus. Also, it is currently two degrees outside. And if you've been watching me for a little while, you know I am from Texas. And last year in the winter, I only had one class on campus and I only left my house like one to two times a week max. And now I have to go to school like four days of the week, sometimes five, and it is freezing. I walked to school yesterday with a feel like temperature of like 10 degrees, but I'm not gonna do that to myself today. So I will be driving for my seminar from 12 to three, which is my prospectus class. But first up, I'm gonna do a little bit of reading for my class on Russian Soviet history. The book that we are reading is called Empire of Nations. Last semester, I did an entire class on empire and we each had to review a book and one of the girls in my class actually reviewed this book. And so I kind of know the general premise, which is nice, um, but I'm excited to actually read it because it seems like an interesting topic and especially since it's on the subject of empire i'm hoping that i might actually have something to add to the conversation next week but so first up i'm gonna try and get through about half of that book and then have a little break for lunch go to campus have my seminar and then just do some generals readings for the rest of the day Okay, so I'm done reading for right now. I was not reading as fast as I had hoped to. I wanted to get through like half of the book this morning. I only got through 30%, but you know, that's all right. Every day we're not gonna read at the same pace. Also, I can't really tell how long the book is because I decided to get this book on Kindle. It was cheaper that way, which I really hate doing. And on this Kindle edition, it doesn't have the page number. It has that weird thing where it's like location 1502 out of like 8000 which i don't super love because it also makes note taking a little bit more difficult but anyways all that to say got through about 30 percent of the book i am going to very very quickly eat lunch put on some pants that aren't sweatpants and drive to school for my class today i have my prospectus class which is preparing me to write my prospectus which i will need to present as part of my folio of materials when i take my general exams hopefully this April. So that is my plan for the next few hours. Let's quickly get ready and eat lunch. All right, time for me to drive to school in very, very cold weather. I'm not ready, but let's do this. Okay, we made it to school about 30 minutes early, which is actually good because I need to stop by the library to pick up a book that I need to begin reading today. It's the last book I need to read before I have a meeting with one of my advisors on Friday regarding my general exam. So I need to start reading that today and finish it tomorrow. But yeah, just gonna walk across campus. I'm probably not gonna film because I don't wanna take my gloves off and try to manipulate a camera or my phone while I am freezing. But yeah, it's about 14 degrees outside. So I'm gonna attempt not to freeze my entire body as I walk across campus. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with class. I had a three hour seminar on campus for my prospectus class. I felt like we did some exercises that are actually helpful in just kind of getting me thinking about how I wanna lay out the prospectus and the initial part of the paper that you have to put together. 
After that, I was giving Justin a ride home, but I made him go with me to Best Buy to check out some cameras. I have finally decided to reinvest in a vlogging camera. I had a camera way back in the day that ended up breaking. Um, and I have found my iPhone 11 to generally work quite well for me in terms of filming quality, sound. However, I just have like no space left on my phone. And even if I film and delete the footage fairly regularly, I still just don't have any space. So I decided to invest in that. I looked at the camera at Best Buy, but ended up buying it on Amazon because you can do a payment plan over the span of five months, which for me budgeting wise just works out super well, especially since I'm about to be done paying off my couch. I'll just have a new payment to replace that. But in the meantime, that put me about an hour behind my reading schedule that I had set out for myself today. So we are getting right back into reading. Today I am reading Sexual Science, The Victorian Construction of Womanhood. So far I'm not really loving it to be honest compared to some of the other books I read. The introduction was pretty weak. It didn't really situate the book inside existing historiography, didn't really provide any of the sources that the author would be using, so didn't really love that. And the first chapter, it's kind of interesting. It's talking about the development of different sciences in the early to mid 1800s that were developing these ideas of difference between different sexes, between different races. And I took a class on the history of race, so a lot of this is stuff I already know. So I'm interested to see how she kind of advances her argument and if she's ever going to talk about other scholars who have already done work on this. But I have about 100 pages to read today and then I have 10 quizzes to grade. I am grading once again this semester for the same class as last semester. So that's good. All the material is pretty much the same but I have way less students. This semester I only have 49 compared to last semester where I had 66 or 67. So hopefully grading will go a little faster this semester. I'm talking really fast because I feel like I need to get to work. So I'm gonna leave you guys to it and just hop right into my reading. <laughs> ends another day in my life. My roommate Colleen and I have been doing Yoga with Adrienne's 30 day yoga challenge for the month of January. So we did that. And then the next day, guess what came in? My new camera. I'm so excited. So the next video that you guys see will be filmed on this camera. I can maybe talk a little bit about it, um, how excited I am for it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching another day in my life as a PhD student. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Bye.